Hi, welcome to Wellness. I'm your host, Linda Lonigan, Senior Clinical Nutritionist. I'm here to show you the very best your community has to offer in health, fitness, well-being, great people, and wonderful events. Today I'm joined by the lovely Christine Voke, talking all about skin and how important it is to take care of it and the right things to do just to feel better. Welcome, Christine. Thank you so much, Linda. So excited to be here. Thanks for having me. My pleasure. My pleasure. So your skin is absolutely beautiful. Thank you. As is yours. Thank we were talking you. about that earlier. Yeah. So, pretty. so you have tremendous passion in terms of skin and everything about skin. Um, your product, uh, Airborne, um, is new from Norway, yes. which I was very excited to hear because my family's from Norway. And I just came back from Norway, and it, they're all about in terms of health and freshness and quality foods and lots of exercise and the real, the real thing. Yeah. So you shared in terms of uh, what you you're passionate about does not have pesticides. Can you just tell me a little bit about that? Yes. Thank you. So. Um, Yes, the founder of my company is from Norway, and as you know, in Europe, the standards for ingredients in skincare products are so much higher than the United States. Right. Europe bans something like 1,400 ingredients wow. from being allowed in personal care products for wow. not being safe. Wow. Um, so the company that I was introduced to 10 years ago, we follow the European standards. Right. We're in the United States compared to Europe. Right. The United States bans maybe less than 20 and compared to 1,400 in Europe. So. As you know, that's why people pay more money for things from Europe because usually they're not cheap because they're not cheap. Right, and so, quality is so, so important. And also you indicated that it's not tested on animals, which I adore yes. animals, and that's so, so important. Yeah. And, and in terms of that people try to get quality in food and they try to get quality that they'll go out and spend a very large amount of money on a lovely, lovely meal. But our skin is the largest organ in our body. Exactly. And it takes in so much every day that you would think that you would want to put your dedication and time into something that makes a difference. Exactly. That's exactly how I, when I was first introduced um, to the chemicals that are in so many of the brands that we trust and have for years. Right. Um, and it's right. just a shame that, that our country is not regulating as, right. as it should. And part of my passion is just educating people, letting people know that you do have choices, read the labels, um, and things hopefully will start changing for the better. Right. right. Um, but 10 years ago, both my parents had passed away from cancer. I'm and sorry. Thank you. Sorry. Um, but that was when I really started to pay attention, not just in what I was eating, but what I was putting on my skin. Uh -huh. As you said, your skin is the largest detoxifying organ. Right. And if you're right. not putting good products on your skin, it's good products are getting into... Um, are your not system. getting into your, your bloodstream. Right. So. Into your system, and it has a, a really, really large effect, uh, tremendous effect. I know with my offices recently, I've got a lot of calls with parents, with their kids with rashes. Glyphosate is a really big problem. Yes. It's a pesticide that is used to harvest or dry out crops. Immediately, they're, they grow and they kill them, and, and immediately this pesticide is added. But the origination of the recommendation was minimal. Now it's up to levels that uh, we have no idea in long-term studies what effect it has on our, ourselves or our children. Yeah, it's true. Um, and genetically modified foods, like right. you were talking about, if they are sprayed with um, Roundup and right. and products like that, you can't wash that off because they're being grown with no. with that chemical on it. No, so no. I think we're the um, most overfed but undernourished um, generation in this country, I think, as you know, with being so passionate about, about absolutely um, very, being very and well eating. put. I was amazed yeah. in in my travels, um, especially in Europe, that uh, for dinner, you know, they picked a plum off the tree. I was picking olives off a bush. The tomatoes were off the vine. Mm -hmm. The olive oil was something pressed that they had. Um, everything was real, and even the children. We're going out and picking things from the garden to add to the table. Um, something as simple as water. Just having water in a clear bottle, mm -hmm. non-PBA, yeah. um, in, a, in a, um, uh, a regular glass bottle that was in their fridge 24-7. 
So rather than going towards anything else, they always went for water. But she mentioned it from the beginning that um, this is a way of life for them mm -hmm. um, in terms of eating real and, uh, and natural and, and not looking for. I mentioned about microwave foods, and they said, mm -hmm. microwave foods? Mm -hmm. Like that was something they totally were against. Yeah. So. And food in this country is not like it was years ago because that. they're being stored differently. We had talked about gen being genetically modified. Right. I think that there are so many things that um, that are different than it was when our parents were growing up or our right. grandparents were growing up. And I think it's so. important to educate yourself and, and then you can make decisions that are the best for you. Absol um, no, absolutely. You important. mentioned that, um, excuse me, um, you mentioned that your husband's a chef. Yes. So you're exposed to the very best, I'm sure. Yes. Right? Yes. As far He's, as quality food and ingredients? Yes. He is wonderful. wonderful. Yeah. <laughs> wonderful. Yeah. <laughs> More of me to love when he cooks, so I eat it all, which I love. Yeah. <laughs> yes, but it's true. He cooks very, very healthy. And, and I think that that is really important, not just what you're putting in your body, but, but what you're putting on your skin. Um, people you surround yourself with, there's toxic people I agree. that affect your health as well. And I, I, think, I so agree. Yeah. I learned on travels, uh, as uh, Sarah Montgomery and Sarah's House of Health said, uh, you have to surround yourself in a positivity bubble. Yes. And it's so important today. Yes, you I know? agree. I like to say beyond the chaos and rhetoric, we have to see the forest through the trees. We have to be able to persevere in a way that's the very best we can in the quality of our life. Yes, exactly. Um, and it's not about making these big, huge changes, you know, it could be a very simple very change. Smart, Christine. Yeah. Bet. Like changing your brand or changing the foods that you're eating right. or, or just educating yourself and trusting, um, the little things that you can do to make right. yourself a little bit healthy. Yeah. Healthy living in moderation is my, <laughs> is yeah, my motto. That's great. <laughs> I like to have, you know, some not so healthy things, but it's important. I think right. when you can make changes that that you do what you can. Oh, sure. Sure. Yeah. And I'm always sharing, I learned in Europe as well, that when they eat, when they eat foods that are not exactly low fat, they eat very small amounts. They're quality, yeah. but they eat very, very small amounts. And that way they feel satiated. They don't have cravings. Their willpower is enhanced. And at the same time, they're having the colors of the rainbow, fresh mm -hmm. fruits and vegetables, but they're still enjoying life. Exactly. Just enjoying. Yeah, healthy living inside and out. I think yeah. that's super important. I like what yeah. you said about that um, you don't have to make any major changes, mm -hmm. um, Christine, because everything you do, you share at a level with so many people, and you teach and educate, and you make a difference. You really make a difference. Thank you. And you're very humble about it, but you uh, make a difference in so many different arenas. You really do. And it is important that we take it, we can make a change little step at a time. It doesn't have to be something, you know, exactly. uh, overwhelming. Exactly, exactly. You know? Do what you can and figure out what's important to you and just take control. Take um, responsibility for your own health, I think, is is an important lesson that I've, that I've learned. Um, and... Yeah, and it's wonderful that you're educating people, too, through this program. Yeah, I do. I try. I try as much as if one person tunes in as my viewers and learns something, then it was a great day. Yeah. It's And like you said, uh, balance moderation is key. Yeah. It's all about balance. Yeah. So in terms of um, just general, all of your experience in it, all of your arenas, what are some important things that you live by? You live by as far as um, respect for yourself? and respect for everyone around you. Yeah. Um, but again, you said little steps one at a time. Yeah. So. Little steps. Um, sure. Yeah. So, yeah. so little steps, definitely for me, it's just changing over brand to healthier brands of, of products that I'm putting on my skin, reading labels for what I'm putting in my body. And also just making sure that I'm spending time with people that are, um, that are positive, that are, um, that care about other people that are not sure. so focused on themselves. I think, I think we have, um, we have some great people in this world and you being one of them, I'm so happy oh, that we had the opportunity to, to get to know each other. But yeah. I think that that is super important. I think it's important. I think you have to, um, live, live in a way that's, um, that just takes care of other people. And you certainly do that oh, every single you. every single day. You definitely share and give back in so many ways. You really do. You have a favorite quote? 
I do. This quote is from um, Cecilia Stoll, and the quote is, do not leave this earth without one ounce of potential left inside you. And that's something that every day I try to live. Every day I'm like, all right, well, I could try again tomorrow. But (laughs) but, right? I think that that's pretty pretty important message. Absolutely. That you just keep trying and not give up. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Well, that's all about who you are, because no matter how many things you do, you keep stepping up and doing something new and wonderful and helping so many people. Thank you. No, you it's do, Christine. Great. Thank, Thank you. you so much for Thank being you here so much. today. It was wonderful. It was a pleasure to um, have you on and, and just keep being you, Christine. You help so many. Oh, thanks, you really Linda. Do. Thank you. Um, remember when you eat well and feel great and select great foods is something you want to do for the rest of your life. As Christine says, in balance and moderation is key. Thank you so much, my crew. Have a nice night. Good night.